Good morning, everyone. I wish I had good news for you, but I don't. A matter of fact, the storm is now 150 miles per hour. That's Hurricane Irma heading towards us. If you're in the low-lying area, I say to you now, get out. Evacuate. If you're on a boat, get out. If you're at the marina, get out. This storm is dangerous. It will be catastrophic. Um, we can't mince words and, and make it sound as if everything is going to be okay. Everything will not be okay. We're going to prepare for the worst and hope for the best. Hurricane Irma is upon us. You know exactly when another gust of wind coming. You hear the gust coming, mm -hmm. and then your ears just start to block. What happens here is when they clean up the district, mm -hmm. they bring the stuff to a so-called sorting site. Mm -hmm. So they're pulling out the, the roofing, the aluminum, from the garbage. The water was coming in the house so fast. We were wringing out towels, and we were throwing out the whole bucket of water like every five minutes. How does someone deal with a disaster like this when they're not even there? How does someone cope with a situation they can't control? When family is left to deal with it by themselves without you? This was the most frightening moment for me. Then to come back home and it's just shocking. You come back to a place that you think you knew or you, you did know and then it's just Within a day, like, it all just looks completely different. 